Next item is that diamond in the rough I'm talking about. And you'll look at this thing and you'll be like, who in the world would pay $49 plus shipping for this? Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin and we're in the Commonwealth cabin. And we hope you guys are having a good day out there because we are having a good day. Really nice day of sales. We have 22 things headed out of here for 560 bucks, which is uh, gross, of course, but still a really nice day. Anywhere between 40 and 60 of that is profit. And we got a lot of work to do. Got these items. I haven't even checked the Homeschool Hustler store if we've got a sale in there or not. I know we didn't this morning, but we may by now. So we'll see. So maybe we won't have Turner in here this time. He just was happy he got to show off his shoes. <laughs> last time so that was pretty cool hey we do have a bunch of work today and i would love to get it all shipped out of here i'm probably going to talk quick because there's so many items and i want to get them all out and take tomorrow off which is something i need to do from time to time especially when i'm back at school you know i know most of you the great majority of you probably 95 percent of you are part-time resellers and you have a different job and then a lot of you are full-timers who could probably teach me a thing or two out there and you often do and I appreciate that but at any rate I am going to talk quick because we got a lot of work to do so as John Cincinnati Picker would say let's get to work <laughs> I was anticlimactic a lot of times you do it and it just falls out this one didn't didn't want to do that but here you go algae series and it says nucleus infusion and I don't know it's got a bunch of cool stuff here nuclear fission and reduction division in spirogyra I won't even pretend to know what that is. I was not a science student. I wasn't a student at all. <laughs> I was pretty bad. I don't know. And now I'm teaching the smart kids at school. So at any rate, this one sold for $45 plus shipping. And we put in one of those tubes. Actually, I have found that it'll just fit just barely if we take two of the smaller tubes and put them together. I have been taking a larger tube and then putting the smaller tube on top and cutting it down. Where if I do it the other way, it's almost a perfect fit without doing any cutting except for to actually adhere it and to, to Frankenbox it together. I'm going to knock these four out together. The Lost and Found sale, which I have another item. We're actually going to talk about that in just a second. It's an item. I called it the Diamond in the Rough, a little play on words for the golf course. And it's also a diamond because I just looking through this stuff, I didn't think it was worth quite so much. And then I'm like, you know, in $10 plus shipping, something like that. And then I looked up comps, and I'm like, hey, this isn't too bad. That particular comp wasn't out there, but I decided to auction it off. Anyway, that's for a moment, so we'll, we'll, we'll talk about these junky ones first. By the way, they're not in great condition. I had somebody say, hey, they checked out with their course, and they're like, you know what? The, after a certain amount of time, the folks, the, the people that work there take the good ones, and the rest are just junk, and they take them to the Goodwill. I'm like, if they think they're junk, pick them up, because let me tell you, these are junk. I mean, this one's really junk. This one's not too bad. But, you know, I've sold some that are in awful condition and still get, you know, $10 plus shipping. These four right here are $32 plus shipping. And not to the same person, to, to different people. But I just didn't want to talk about them separately. So that's a pretty good little profit. I've got this item, I think, and two more. And I'll show you what we've made so far on the Lost and Found sale. I haven't sold one of these in a while. Dave Matthews, which... You know, he was Charlottesville, UVA area. Here we go. Warehouse edition. And this one was, I think I paid 50 cents a piece for these. They're going out for $9.81 free shipping. I take that back, $9.41 free shipping. I can't remember how many we bought, but it was somewhere around 100. And it looks like there's maybe, I don't know, 15 left. B. Gonzalez right here. Welsh's Looney Tunes. I like selling these off when they're in a, in a, in a whole set. Just it's a lot more bang for your buck. But I had a whole box full of them and they weren't a full set. But I decided to pick them up anyways. This one went for $5 plus shipping. Here is a Zippo right here. This one went to a viewer, I think. I'm going to have to go over here and read it for you really quick. But it also came from the Lost and Found sale. It's nothing amazing. But on those Zippos, it'll put that date in the bottom right most of the time. I think it's the bottom right most of the time. It certainly is on this one. And then you can use that to look them up. And a lot of times the exact same light or different years. And this one, you know, just make sure there's not <laughs> a bunch of uh, lighter fluid in there when you ship it. So at any rate, this one's going to view. Let me read what they put. Hey, this one went out to Josh. He says, uh, hey, Kevin, it's your buddy Josh in Vermont. 
I've been watching your channel for a while now and needed to buy something from you. I'm a pipe smoker and saw this lighter and I knew I could use it a bunch. Thank you for all your knowledge. I know it's been helping me and my family make extra cash during these crazy times. So thank you. Just found a $3 bottle of perfume at Goodwill and flipped it the next day for $170. Thank you, sir. So, well, no thank you necessary, but I appreciate it. I'll thank you for making the purchase and we'll send it right off to you. I think last time I sold one of these, I told you it was the last one, but I actually had one in a different location that I didn't know about. And well, I know about it now because I sold it and I'm like, uh, I don't think I have any of those left. And then I went and checked the old spot where I used to keep them and I found this one, $12 free shipping. And it ships out for right around nine ounces, unfortunately, but we'll still make, you know, five, six, seven dollars profit, depending on how much we paid for this box, this lot of uh, AT&T stuff. Before we show you the Homeschool Hustler store sale and then the CommonwealthPicker.com store sale from the end of the video, I just want to point out that my kids did this while I was at school teaching and I came home it was already done, so they did a pretty good job. Hi guys, we have a Homeschool Hustler sale with Turner. What is it? A Harry Potter doll. Do you know how much it sold for? Uh, $19.95. Yes. Um, I think that's with shipping, but I'm not sure. Does Sissy love Harry Potter? Yep. I've read all the <laughs> I've read all the books and watched all the movies. Bye. Bye. I just checked. I was funny looking at that Dave Matthews CD and seeing twenty four dollars. I'm like, somebody buy two of those things, but they didn't. This one is going first class, flat rate, international. I'm going to ship it through Pirate Ship, and it's going to end up in Germany. Which just reminded me, I sell a lot. I don't know if y'all if this is the case for y'all out there, but I sell a lot relatively a lot, a few times maybe every couple of months, that music, especially rock stuff, or rock memorabilia or something like that, goes to Eastern Europe, especially Germany. And it, you know, I'm a history teacher, so that stuff intrigues me a little bit. I won't bore you with the history lesson today. Let's just say that uh, I'll continue my nines. Everything ends in nine in the 20th century is, is seemingly important to history. It reminded me of 1989, the fall of the Berlin Wall. I remember where I was, if I recall. I was in a hotel room with my folks as a youngster. I think I was 12 in Reno, Nevada. And it came on the TV. I'm like, this this is nuts. Kind of was a little bit shocking that it ended so abruptly and with a whimper. And rock and roll was part of the fall of the Berlin Wall in a strange way. Not necessarily the wall itself. Although I do remember David Hasselhoff going, do y'all remember this? Y'all old enough to remember David Hasselhoff going over there and doing a concert? <laughs> Crazy stuff. This item I picked up and this guy, he's, he's, I'm like, how much you want for the Harley sign? And he's like, 10 bucks. And I'm like, well, would you do eight? <laughs> and he's like, no, I'm not doing eight. I think I offended the guy a little bit and I probably should have just, uh, I think I, what I said, you'll see this video coming up. I think what he said is it's worth 10. <laughs> and I said, uh, I didn't say it wasn't worth 10. I just asked if you take eight and he laughed and I laughed and I gave him the 10 bucks. Just like he asked, I thought it was pretty cool. There are some comps out there a lot lower than what I sold this for, but it is for a sign that is six inches shorter. And so I'm like, you know, I wouldn't buy it to sell it for 20 plus shipping. But I thought I could get 50 out of this because the size is a little longer. And I did. I got $50 out of it plus shipping. I bought bought it for 10 So, I don't know. Let's say it's around $34 profit on it. And it won't be hard to ship. You know, people are scared to ship this stuff. Really? It's so sturdy. You know, I shipped those. I wish I had the picture. I probably should have taken a video of it. I shipped those old skis out of here. And I basically just made a giant ski mummy. And I could ship this thing out with nothing but bubble wrap and that heavy-duty construction garbage bag, and it would be fine. There's nothing going to happen to this thing. But I will probably find some cardboard and cut it out to the right size and do a little bit of maybe shrink wrap or something around it. But it's not that hard to ship this stuff, y'all. Don't, don't be afraid to ship it, you know. Take take small leaps if you don't ship big stuff. Hey, y'all, let me know in the comments. What's the craziest thing you've ever shipped? I want to know. All right, next item is that diamond in the rough I'm talking about. And you'll look at this thing and you'll be like, who in the world would pay $49 plus shipping for this? All right, I set it out from just a minute ago here because I didn't want to dig through that thing forever. So here it is, Titleist. It's just a leather head cover. I didn't even clean the dumb thing. I just wiped it down a little bit, but I didn't take any care in doing a big time clean job and it didn't get a toothbrush and cleaned it or anything like that 
and I don't know, maybe I should could have got a couple extra bucks out of it. But I looked up some similar because this one wasn't out there. I looked up a couple that were similar and I saw some prices. I'm like, really? You know, $30, $50, $20 plus shipping. I'm like, you know what? This one's not out there. I'm going to put it out there on an auction and take my chances with it. 99 cent auction. And it sold for $49 plus shipping. Love that. Let's add it to our total. All right, here's our total. I write really sloppy and I did a couple things out of order, but this is today just from that lot. 21 profit, 8 profit, 43 profit, $4 profit, up to now a total of $309. $159 profit so far out of that deal. Hey, and I think this one went to Barter Mania right here. That's the next one on the list. The Andy Warhol, which, oh, Andy Warhol, what a character right there, huh? That's Americana at its best. The old uh, Marilyn Monroe and all that. So, anyway, this one went off, I believe, to Barter Mania, Travis. So, thank you. And it is headed your way. And I can't remember the price. I think it was around $30. And that's going to go towards our uh, charitable giveaways. And not just charitable giveaways, but giveaways. I suppose it's all charity if you want to think about it that way. But you'll see those coming up on the other channel. Next one came from the 100 Mile Yard Sale, and it is one of the last ones that's left, and they've made us some pretty good profit, some wrestling figures. By the way, I was thinking next year, maybe, 100 Mile Garage Sale, doing some sort of a meetup. I've never done anything like that. But is this it right here, the big show? I think that's it. Maybe we'll talk about that down the road. Hopefully we have one, of course. We got one of them canceled last year. This one sold for $17, free shipping. Thank you, Lori, for picking it up for us and then uh, flipping it to me immediately, <laughs> making a few bucks on me. So we've made some good money on that, over $100 on that deal so far. And I don't think that'll fit in the 4 by 2 by 7 box. I don't think. But it should ship out for about 8 ounces is my guess. You know, when I got home, nobody was home. So Blue Ridge Mama wasn't home, homeschool hustlers aren't home, Bubba's not home, and the cats haven't moved in three hours. But Sophie wandered down here to say hello. So I thought and when she came down, it reminded me to answer a question about that cat that came by the house and what eventually happened to it, Jingle, let me tell you. If you've been watching the show a while, you know it used to just be, if you watch the intro we do every once in a while, it used to just be me and the kids and, and Sophie on the intro. Well, my daughter just has this affinity and just this heart for animals, and so my wife does too, but she blames it on Reagan. And so they've saved a couple of cats. And then we had another cat. Show, that was down the road. And then we had another cat show up. That was uh, Pepper and Boots. And then we had another cat show up. And that's Dobby. We had to amputate the tail. We saved that cat, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just too soft-hearted to tell my daughter no. By the way, I had a, a sub. That, well, I don't know. I had somebody the other day say they unsubscribed because I was mean to the cats. And I think they were serious. <laughs> I'm not mean to the cats. Boots is a mean cat, so I don't care what anybody says. Anyway, she's all right, I guess. Anyway, Sophie likes her. Sophie, play, don't you? You play with her. At any rate, Jingle was this other cat that showed up, and Reagan, for days, tried to convince this cat to come in and stop shivering, but it would run away. And so eventually, Reagan got it to trust her enough, brought it in. The girl saved that cat, but it does have a new home. I kind of put my foot down. I'm like, you know, I didn't want any cats, and I have three. And they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of this one. <laughs> so Bubba's girlfriend took it. So thank you for taking that cat. We appreciate it out there, Erica. Erica, thank you. Five pieces of clothing. I like selling clothes. So all these clothes here today, I think it was $27 profit after all is said and done. This is 18 bucks. So not bad. You know, they're so easy to ship. And this is two, two shirts going one place, two shirts going another place. So three shipments, you know, you're making like nine bucks a pop on them. Definitely worth it to me, especially because Blue Ridge Mama lists most of the clothes. A velour Ralph Lauren women's zip up. You all right down there? <laughs> and this one's head outdoor for 18 bucks. Let's just knock out the other ones. I sell these usually for like 11 bucks. I'll find them for 50 cents all over the place around here. And then sometimes somebody will buy two of them. That's what happened here. So $22, is that right? <laughs> Not a math teacher. 22 bucks free shipping. It will go out first class because these are size small. Maybe one's a medium. So we'll make a little bit of money on this too. These two, I think we're out above his closet in Blue Ridge. I don't know. I know there was a pile that he brought out and I guess he's grown out of. What size is this? Yeah. He's grown out of these two. Columbia. 
And so she put them together. You know, they're not easy sellers, but you put two together, $12 plus shipping. It's a lot better than dropping it off in the Goodwill and getting nothing. All right, here's a bad buy that finally sold right here. Had like six of them. The guy wanted two bucks a piece, and I walked away. I'm like, no, I don't think they're going to sell. This is Larry, Larry Miner, McDonald's. It's a drag racer. So I walked away from him. He's like, how about a uh, dollar a piece? And I said, I'll do six for five, and we'll do it. And I did it, and this one sold for the least. And, and I made it six twenty one dollars after a sale. So even on this one, we're making a tiny bit of money. But all told, out of all of those sales, we're making like 12 bucks. So that's probably not worth my time. And that's saying something. When I say it's not worth my time, because my time comes cheap. Mary Kay Lip Liner. We are in the pure profit on this one. Sold for $7.99, I think is what it was. Free shipping on this little lip liner. And had a viewer make a purchase. And this is the Vintage Hobo again. And I think I didn't see. I can't remember exactly. I might have shipped something out to you yesterday that I didn't see you had some other purchases. So... My apologies out there, and it's Debbie and Jeffrey. So thank you all so much for all the support and all the kind words. I do appreciate it. This, I can't remember which sale this came from. I remember, <laughs> I remember buying this thing, and the guy wanted more than I wanted to pay for it. I'm like, nah, don't worry about it. And then he gave me a better deal on it. So Sophie's back. How you doing, girl? And this is Freedom From Want, the Rockwell. If I can remember these two sales, I might put them up here in the video. And this one is the Discovery right here. And they bought all of these, I think, out the door for around 30 bucks plus shipping. It's going to be hard to combine shipping with these two. I'm going to maybe figure out a way because I would flat the, you know, I'd, I'd ship these in something flat, you know, like a record box or something. Although that's too big. And then add this. But we'll see what we can do. So at any rate, Debbie and Jeffrey, the Vintage Hobo. That's your eBay store name, I believe. So thank you all so much. We appreciate the support. All right, Sophie's back. She just keeps coming back in i keep putting her out and editing her out and i'm just like well we'll just leave her in here she'll say hello all right at any rate these are going out to tony and to dan thank you so much for the support and we hope he gets things moving for you all right we'll head back out there for something else maybe i'm not sure i don't even know if we have a, i think we have a commonwealthpicker.com store sale and i haven't even checked the homeschool hustler store sales but if we have one of those it's probably on the video already so thank you all for joining us today as always and we'll see you next time Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you what sold out of the Commonwealth Picker store. First we got Fred, he got a gray Commonwealth Picker shirt and an end mug. And remember, these are only for a limited time. Once they're sold out, we're never putting them out, of, out again. But the regular Commonwealth Picker mugs will stay in the store forever. And he said, Kevin, I've been tuning in for a while now and you and... The family are an awesome bunch. I figure the in man will be too exclusive for me, so a mug should do the trick. I have been reselling for years, learned something new about this industry every day, and your show makes it a little easier to keep up between you, Lonnie, John, as much as I watch. You three for info, I feel like I should be paying a fee. Oh, I have a 10 year old granddaughter abby that watches and she would like for me to say hi to reagan for her hi abby then kyle got another gray shirt and an in a mug i'm a sub he said i'm a subscriber and i love your videos tried to buy an in man plush but it says sold out i knew i know you have the stash so we'll love to know when you put some more out for sale we'll love a shout out for my ebay store unique ventiques i think so I think that's what it is. Thanks so much, Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. Then we have Corey, and they got a Commonwealth Picker sticker. That's it. Bye, and don't forget to get your sticker at CommonwealthPicker.com. You may remember a while back, we uh, sent a few extra things off to a nice gentleman off in Oregon. He does some charitable work he gives sports cards to kids in local hospitals that have been there for a long time and it's just a nice little charity so we thought we'd send some things off to him and he's got this auction go check it out